What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Gmiles World. And right here, we're going to be taking on one of the top Mutt players coming in from last year. You may know him. Uh, you may not know him, but you're going to really enjoy this game if you like competitive Madden. Now, uh, I'm going to give you a quick look at some of the players I was able to get in this ranked draft. Um, it goes by Mutt Drafts instead of Draft Champions for Madden 18. Um, but yeah, it's a decent team. OBJ, Dak Prescott, Mike Evans, uh, things like that. Defensively, we weren't too good, but we got Grunk there. Uh, he definitely helps out in the run game and things like that. So um, if you wanted to see the draft, it's in the previous video. Go ahead and check that out. We're going to go ahead and jump into the game right here, and then we're going to come up against Pawnee Montana. Now, we have a pr it's, it's pretty much a history of things that have, go uh, that have gone on between he and I, and um, it's all displayed on this channel here at GMI's World. All you got to do is search uh, Pawnee Montana. I think uh, he, he should, he should be, it should come up or uh, search bum in Madden 17 and he should come up, but that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is this, bro. The game uh, was very, very new. It just came out and, um, you know, it's good to see, like, you could just come out and just play, man. Uh, it's not about, you know, all right, well, who's going to be better later on? It's right, it's right about now. Uh, Madden 18, in my opinion, is so much better than Madden 17. Uh, there are some things that uh, people can, you know, have been complaining about, you know, drop passes, zones, things like that. But as far as the flukiness that happened in Madden 17, this game is by far leaps and bounds um, ahead of it. And I haven't enjoyed a Madden this much since Madden 25. All right. So it's been a while for me to be able to uh, be calm in my videos and just enjoy the game. So that's why, you know, most of you guys that are watching it are probably like, yo, bro, this guy's real calm. Like, what's going on with this guy? You know, well, holla at EA Sports. They did a really good job for the most part with a lot of the things that are in this game. So as you can see, when we come out right now, we're running the 4-3 under defense. Um, some of the things that I was running in uh, Madden 17, it doesn't work the same way. And a lot of the way it does, pick that shit, run over six, run over six, run over six, right? Yeah, let's go. Cut it back, cut it back. Let's go right there. Cut the root. Yep, yes, sir. Bruh, yes, sir. Are right, we out? Okay, so if you guys know anything about my game, I pride myself on defense for the most part. Offensively, uh, last year, you know, after I realized that a lot of things were going crazy, I started to swerve. And um, it really, um, it rubbed some people the wrong way. People were upset about it. That should have been picked right there. Uh, and, um, you know, I don't really care about what people think. And every, oh, pick there. Let's go. We, we went in that back. We, 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 uh, we out. We out. We out. Um, Pretty much what happens in the with Madden is that you find things that work for you. And uh, with the way that the swerve was, it took user skill. A lot of dudes were able to do it that were really bums also. But if you were really good at it, you had really good user skill. And that's what Madden has always been to me. It's been about user skill. So in this year with the removal of the swerve for the most part, because in some, anima in some animations you may feel like you get a swerve, but defensively there's just so much more control. You're able to strafe. You're able to do a lot of the things that I asked for, man. Like... Uh, yeah, I raged a lot and I went crazy, but I asked for specific things and I gave feedback when necessary. And that's how you make games better. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of the guys that I banned in Twitch or I banned on YouTube and stuff like that, they just don't understand. They just don't get it. Madden didn't start in 16. You know, there's a lot of people that's been playing Madden for a very, very long time. And um, it's, it's not about anything else other than being able to utilize special things that you know how to do in the game and to keep it going the right way. That's the only way that, you know, the game is going to continue to evolve. Right there, I died for no reason. And I deserve what happened right there. That was a clutch fourth down. That right there, that was clutch. Like, I was supposed to be able to stop that and take that where I, where I needed to go with that. You know what I'm saying? And it just didn't work out that way for me. And um, it is what it is as far as that goes. But I'm going to let you know this right now. The way that the game was going, I, all I had to do was really make a couple plays. And you're going to see what's going to happen right now, what's going what's gonna to come up. Um, it's good. Third, third and 13, bro. Look at this. Mike Evans, man. Mike Evans, 89 overall in his hands, drops it. Now, if you know anything about Madden momentum, that, that took a lot of air out of me, bro. And my kicker sucks. So I have to go for it. There's nothing else I can do. I have to go. I could have hit X right there, man. And then Mike Evans drops that too. So when you look at it like that, people say, oh yeah, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Madden 18 sucks. No, it doesn't, bro. Like I'm not mad about that. You know why I'm not mad about that? Because I'm going to win a lot more games this year than I lost. And yeah, this is a competitive player and I need those plays to happen. And yeah, I was wide open and it was open drops. But I got to get better, dog. Like, listen, man. EA Sports listened to a lot of the complaints that I had. Um, obviously, strafing was one of the major things that I was trying to stress to people throughout the year. And they were like, yeah, bro, you're a bum. You swerve, stuff like that. And I kept telling them, all you got to do is be able to strafe. And what did EA do? They brought the strafe back to the game. You know, we didn't have straight for a while, man. Uh, and, you know, some people were able to do it. Um, but it wasn't it wasn't something that 
was dominant in the game. It was something that was really, really crazy. And, um, you know, we're going to have to probably, you know, figure out exactly what's going on with it uh, in the future. We're going to have to see uh, if they can add more things that made it better, um, you know, that make it better. Right there, I, I hit the freaking target passing. You know what I'm saying? The target passing was crazy um, because you don't need to hold L2 and the R button anymore to be able to do that, to be able to um, uh, use Playmaker. is just the R stick. It's just the analog. So as far as that goes, you're going to have to make sure that you're able to, you know, get that done. You know what I'm saying? You have to make sure that you get that transition because if you don't, you're going to be bringing up target passing and you're going to be throwing the ball right into the dirt the way I just did. And it's, it's as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And right here, he scores right before the half. You know, that power O, bro. And I knew what he was doing. And it's just like the defenses that worked last year for it. Oh, my God, tip. The defenses that worked last year for it doesn't work this year. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make sure that, um, you know, the, the plays that you're utilizing on defense, uh, you're going to have to learn about, like, you know, run run fits and stuff like that. See see where the, uh, the actual contain is going to be. There's a lot of things that go into being good. Uh, with Madden this year. So make sure you keep your eye on that and understand that it is what it is as far as that goes. Just don't think that, you know, the same defenses are going to work and stuff like that uh, because it's not. It's definitely not going to work. Um, so when I came out running that weak defense at the end of the half, I deserved it, bro. I deserved for this guy to just do whatever he wanted to do. And that's what he did, bro. He just came out and said, you know what? This dude's running weak defense. I'm going to do what I have to do. But um, I still got to do what I got to do. Bro, why did I – see, that right there – when, when, now that I look back at a lot of the things that happened, see, those kind of open field opportunities, and Madden 18, you have to make the best of it. You can't, um, you know, not do what you're supposed to do as far as that goes. Like, when, when it's open field and you got a guy like Lamar Miller that's elusive, you have to make that play. You have to make that play where you use that juke, you use that spin move, you use something to take it for six. Because open field, it's a lot, re it's a lot more realistic to the NFL uh, this year. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot more realistic. It's something that people have to understand um, that's in the game. And um, you, you, as far as power backs go, if you lack elusiveness, you're going to have to make sure that you get somebody that has a little bit of elusiveness, man, because it, it's just night and day, bro. Because if I would have juked him right there, whatever kind of juke, that, that's going for six, man. It's going for six. It's no questions asked about it. That's just, it is what it is. But I wasn't able to do, you know, what I needed to do on that play. And, um... You know that's where we went with that. It's it's de it's definitely it's definitely going to be something um, where I'm gonna have to get used to being able to do certain things um, as far as the juking and understanding the actual the actual things. That, what the heck, bro? We, why did my whole team just fall on the ground though? Why did my whole team just fall on the ground on that, bro? Dak Prescott though, but we both got Dak Prescott. So I guess what I'm asking is Dak clutch. I guess his Dak seems to be a lot more clutch than mine. Um, but uh, yeah, okay, watch the play. All right. So, what? What was that? What just happened right there? I, I don't even know what that was, bro. Yo, but pick that real quick. Bro, can you run that for six? Bro, why did he turn around like that, man? Run that for six. See, if we run this for six right here, that would have been pretty much the game, but somehow, some way, this guy came out of nowhere. I don't Who is that? Oh, we juked him, but okay, but who was that? A tight end? All right, cool. So a tight end came out of nowhere and took care of business. All right, I like that. So all we need to do right now is get into the end zone. You know what I'm saying? And pretty much the way that uh, I was, the, the run formations that I was using and the way that his defense was set up, it was pretty well. Okay, wh what is that? Okay, that was a bad time and drop pick. He was probably one of those dudes last year, that whole triangle or why, whether, whether he's on the Xbox or the PS4. I ain't going to lie, bro. I was doing the same thing. I know a lot of you guys was doing it too, right? Yo, because whatever Madden allows you to do, you got to utilize for the year. And like, I'm not going to lie about a video game. Yeah, I was running around holding Y because it was something that you could do. I don't know why they did it. I never used to do it before, but if they, every year the game changes and you have to utilize what works for you. And that's all I'm, that's what my point is. And you know, guys like this guy, uh, Pony Montana, he was running around and saying, oh yeah, you know, I can't respect G Maya because he, you know, because he swerves. So that's what I'm saying. Like guys like him, I can't deal with, you know what I'm saying? And I have no interest in like, um, you know, doing anything as far as, uh, you know, outside of just running into him in the game, because that, that says a lot about an individual. Like, if you're a good Madden player, you find ways to stop what, what whatever people are doing. You know what I'm saying? You just you just find ways to stop it. That's how it used to be. But nowadays, because you're able to talk directly to the developers and complain about this, complain about that, you know, that's why Madden 16 was patched initially. You know, oh, yeah, bro, he's coming in too fast. Have you ever played football? Like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know what, what really is the issue. 
Um, but yeah, I'm very, very thankful. I'm very, 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 very thankful for these guys, man. And the way that they operate, because it's not only him, it's a lot of other uh, so-called top players as well that had a lot of things to say. Yo, can, can, oh, oh, why didn't he catch that? Okay. The ball, oh, he's, he's running without the ball. All right. Yo, whatever, bro. Let's keep it moving. That's why I'm so happy that Volterax was top eight. And um, a lot of these, see, you see what happened? I tried to playmaker and you saw how the icons came up and I didn't realize what was going on. And um, after I did that, I just pressed the button and the ball goes anywhere where your um, your line is as far as the um, the football with the little uh, the little stick on it. So I just threw it up, right? So look what this guy does. He goes for a two-point conversion. And this is this is what I'm saying. This is why you if you ever run into him, if you ever watch his stream, you can't take him seriously. You see what I'm saying? Like, look, who does this, bro? Who does this? If you guys look at my track record, I've blown people out by 100 points, all kinds of craziness. Never felt the need to do this, man. But what I will tell you is this. Um, he, he probably needs to go see a doctor to, um, to figure out why his penile is extra small. That, that's what I would probably recommend for this guy because it takes a very special dude to do something like that. And when I say special, I mean in his crotch area because, like, why would you do that? It doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he, you know what's funny about it? You see, my stream, my dudes are riders. So immediately they were like, yo, what is this guy doing? I can't, yo, they were raging like, yo, I hate this guy, all this stuff like that. Because that, my real ones, they ride with me regardless. Because listen, I said GG's after this game. And, when, and then, you know, Pony came into the stream and I told him directly to him, you know, I think you have a small penile and stuff like that. And we just kept it moving, dog, because I, look, if I say something, I'm going to let you know, dog. You don't got to go ask nobody else. Yeah, I said it. If I said it, it is what it is. But a lot of people make up stories about what I say. And, um, you know, that's another thing. But, yeah, if you ever want to know if I said something, bro, just come through to the stream. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But at the end of the day, it's GG's. Is Dak clutch? I guess his Dak was clutch. I had a 7.69%. Bro, my, yo, my, yo, that was horrible. And I only lost by whatever. Yeah, but you, you see what happened. You see how the game went. Let me know what you thought about that gameplay. How does it look? You know what I'm saying? Um, did, did my momentum change with that huge Mike Evans drop? What was it? Or maybe I just suck, bro. I could deal with it, man. I'm a big boy. Until next time, subscribe. One love.